Hi, I'm Jessica with Tech Lab Camp here in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to show you one of the experiments that we do in our physics class for our third through fifth grade. This is one of the experiments that we do in our physics class here at Tech Lab, and we're using materials that you would have at home. So we need paper towel or toilet paper rolls, glove, straw, tape, and um, rubber bands. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the opening of our glove, and we're gonna fit it over our paper towel, our toilet paper roll, and we're gonna attach it with a rubber band. I find it's easiest to put my glove down into um, the tube just for when I'm putting the rubber band on. And So that, and then once you have it on, make sure that it's pulled all the way down so that no air is going to escape. We're gonna pull that back out. Next, we're going to cut just a little hole in one of the fingers of the glove and insert our straw into that hole and then tape that in. And again, we want to make sure that no air is going to escape um, since we're making an instrument with this. So our air needs to flow pretty much from the end of our straw out to the end of our tube and not escape anywhere else. So here's our instrument that we've got. So this is an example of a wind instrument. And wind instruments work by creating vibration in the air and amplifying that vibration through a resonance tube. So our paper towel or toilet paper roll is our resonance tube. So Joe, could you hold yours up next to mine? What do you see is the difference between our two tubes? If you said that one is longer than the other, very good. So do you think that's gonna make a difference in the sounds that we hear? You're right, probably so. So to play our instrument, we're going to pull this taunt because what's going to vibrate, just like in a, um, with most wind instruments, we have something that has to vibrate. So our vibration is gonna be this little membrane that we pull tight over the end of the tube. And we're just going to blow into the straw to make our sound. So if I blow, and don't have that membrane, you really don't hear any sound. But if I go ahead and pull it taunt so I have that membrane, let's see, it takes a little bit of practice to do these. I have a horn. So, Joe, go ahead and try yours. So that's the basics of creating your own wind instrument at your house. So if you're interested in some experience like that, please come and join us at Tech Lab uh, this year. We look forward to seeing you.